back in Blender 2.8, a free program, links in the description. Uh, I'm just finishing up on my low poly car. I'll be rigging up some wheels uh, in, a, in a little bit. It takes a little while, but uh, I'm in no way a Blender expert, but I find the best way to export a rigged asset that works best and uh, Storyboard Pro is to make the part you want to manipulate later on as uh, their own objects. Uh, so I will export it as a FBX. Uh, and then I'll be able to import into a, a Storyboard Pro through the library. You know, right click, import file, and then find your file. And then you drag it over to your camera view from the library. In my other videos, I'll show you how I animate the rig 3D assets directly in Storyboard Pro. Uh, it's possible to create stop motion with only 3D assets in Storyboard Pro. I haven't really been able to do all of that, but uh, yeah, it's definitely possible. So uh, check out the other videos. So I tend to like to resize my assets, my 3D assets, because I notice that it makes uh, your file lag, uh, might get a bit jumpy if your computer isn't the best. Uh, my computer is okay, but it's not the best. Uh, yeah, so that's usually helpful and you usually want to size it down to the, about the size of the camera dimensions you see in the top view right on the right uh, yeah so one asset made up of different objects uh, I find that Storeboard Pro does not respond to bones impl you implement uh, in Blender so do be aware, aware of that and uh, I will f I will let you guys know if I find any other little things little hiccups that you might actually be able to uncover your own uh, once you start doing this anyways thank you uh, for chiming in and definitely subscribe and leave me a thumbs up and uh, also leave me a comment suggestions for upcoming video videos either way thanks for for watching